Hello, everybody! Hello, 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 hello. I'm just realize. I'm sorry, I'm very- Ah, come on. I always forget which one's- Ooh, explosion! Hello, everyone! Welcome to the stream! How are y'all doing today? Hello, Geek Gouts, Resident Bard, Killer Haku, Oceanic Pegon. Thank you so much for the lurk and for the host. Hello, everyone! Welcome to the stream! How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Hi, everybody! Um, it- Sorry for the late start. Uh, it's been- Kind of a hectic day over here, mainly just because I forgot that, uh, well, I didn't really forget, but I planned a lot of things for Monday when I realized that Monday was, um, a holiday and my parents were coming over, so I didn't really get to do a lot of work yesterday, so I kind of did a lot of work today to try to make up for it, so I'm very sorry for the, uh, for the, <laughs> um, it's been, so, so I'm very sorry for the late start, but it's great to be with you all. How is you, how is your uh, Tuesday going? It is Tuesday. Whew. Having having a three day weekend is really wild. <laughs> Hi, Craft. Welcome on in. Hello, 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 Narf. What is everyone up to? Well, uh, today I can tell you what we're up to. We're up to uh, drawing more of this Nine of Pentacles card. Um, I have no idea actually what how long we've been working on this, how many, uh, streams we've been working on this, but I just know that is, um, it's been a while. So, eighth is a, eighth is in, eighth in the description is a question mark, because I'm not entirely sure if it's been eight, but it feels like it's been eight. We've been working on this card for a very long time. Anyways, um, welcome to another stream. We may finish it up today, probably not. We have a lot of little detail work left to do, and I'm very, very excited about it. Um, <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, and also, since it is the beginning of a month, it is literally the first day of June, uh, I have a few announcements to get through, um, first of which is Happy Pride, everybody! It is Pride Month! Happy, happy Pride, um, this is, this community is full of amazing LGBT plus members, and I just want to wish every single one of you a happy, happy Pride, me included. Um, if you did not know, I am a, uh, I, uh, am a bi person. Uh, I have, I am, I identify as bi. So, um, yeah. So, happy pride from me to you, everyone, if you couldn't tell. I color mostly everything in bi lighting, so. If you couldn't tell, this is me confirming it for you. <laughs> um, uh, but for everyone else, happy, happy pride, everybody. Thank you, thank you so much for being an absolutely amazing community, and I hope this month is just full of love for everyone. Yay! 500 pride biddies! <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so that is sort of what we were thinking. That is honestly probably what's gonna happen is we're gonna finish it on the ninth stream we're doing this. And then we get to go on, move on to a new minor arcana card. We haven't worked on a new minor arcana card in a long time. That's true, the brigade color palette is by colors. It truly is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, but other than that, I have a few other cool announcements to get through at the top of the screen. The first of which is you can see at the bottom of the screen, we have a blank sub goal, new sub goal, new month. We are currently, uh, we're going to be, uh, if we, bleh, raising money, we're, I mean, it's raising money for me, I guess. But uh, we're trying to get to 75 subscribers by uh, June 22nd. Uh, 75 subscribers by June 22nd, um, since... There is one less Saturday stream in the, uh, one less Saturday Saturday stream this month than there was last month, so it's a little bit closer um, than last month. But we'll figure it out. I'm sure we will. Uh, and this one is a coloring page. I do not know what we're going to be drawing for this coloring page. Unlike with Mermaid, I do not know what we're going to be drawing. So if we hit this sub goal, I will be polling everyone in the Discord and uh, my lovely Twitch community about what you guys would like for me to draw as a coloring page that will be posted on my Gumroad and free to download for everyone to color however they see fit. Um, <laughs> so that is our sub goal. It is sort of a choose your own uh, coloring page once we get there. And I'm very, very excited about it. Last time we, um, last time we did a coloring page, I, we drew me as a, uh, as a arch fay, which was very, very fun. Um, and I'm really excited to see what we're gonna do this time. I, I, it's been a while since we drew a coloring page. Since, like, the fall. Or, like, November-ish. So, like, I'm very excited about it. 
and that's all I have to say about that. Let's hit 75 subscribers in, by June 22nd. I'm really excited about it. Uh, secondly, excuse me. Secondly, uh, if you did not know, and I mentioned a little bit on my stream, but it is officially happening. I'm going to be doing a draw this in your style, uh, doing a draw this in your style challenge on both Twitter and Instagram. I'm currently uh, running a poll on uh, Twitter to see what you guys would like me to uh, draw uh, for this Draw This In Your Style challenge. If you would like to uh, give me your input, uh, please uh, go over to my Twitter and uh, vote for either uh, for any of the options. And once the poll is over, I will announce what the option is, and then I will get to drawing it, and then I will ho be hosting a Draw This In Your Style challenge, where the, uh, the prize will be a full body, full color commission from me. And it won't be based on art scale or anything, so don't worry about that. It'll be randomized. Um, I I'll be doing two of those, basically, on both Instagram and on Twitter. Um, you're free to enter in both, but you cannot win both. Um, just saying. I th more information will be coming out of that once I actually have the challenge up and running. But this is just sort of a preamble, a little pre-view for all of you Twitch viewers to know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, thirdly... Uh, as you may have noticed, there's a few programming changes this month. Uh, the first of which is that uh, Thursday streams will no longer be gaming streams. I know, very, very sad. Uh, but um, Thursday streams will no longer be gaming streams uh, because we're going to be switching to uh, doing a larger illustration and commission streams on Thursdays because we've got some really large commissions that I want to get done um, from this lovely community and I also want to have time to work on larger illustrations that aren't just tarot cards with you all. Um, so, uh, the first of the- we're kicking off the first of these thir new Thursday streams with continuing the mermaid draw, redraw draw along that we did on Saturday. We had, did not finish it, uh, on Saturday, so we're gonna continue it on Thursday. Uh, hopefully finish up the line art, do some more coloring, and maybe get onto the background. So if you, uh, if you're excited about that, come in and hang out with me on Thursday. I'm very, 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 very excited about it. And, uh, lastly, um, just uh, another little programming note for this community and the Discord uh, that uh, we're, I'm switching uh, Neverwinter Community Days to just being called Community Gaming Days because it's really more what they are anyways. And I don't want anyone that uh, doesn't play Neverwinter or ha has wanted to take a break from Neverwinter or whatever to feel like they can't come and hang out with us on Fridays. We're just going to be gaming, having a good time, as always, on Friday, and that is this Friday. So if you just want to come hang out with the Brigade, maybe play some Neverwinter, maybe play some Animal Crossing, maybe play some other uh, community games, or just play some games on your own and stream and just have a good time in the voice chat with us, definitely come and hang out with us on Friday at 1.30pm. CST. I'm, I, we've done enough polls, this is generally the time where a lot of people are free. <laughs> and yeah, that's sort of my programming notes. Uh, a lot of those, a lot of these stuff is also in the announcements channel in, um, my, uh, stream. And if it's not there now, in the, in the Discord, and if it's not there now, it will be later. So, definitely check that out if you want to refresh on some things that have been happening. But yeah, that's all my announcements. Since it's the beginning of the month, I had a few announcements to get through. So thank you so much for bearing with me. And also, Ike, hello, welcome on in! How is your Tuesday going? You know what this means, right? You can't finish this card until next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, hey, maybe this, maybe this one we won't be able to finish something, but next Tuesday, I think we're going to be finishing up the Lovers, and then maybe the next Tuesday after that we'll be finishing up the Knight of Pentacles, and then we're going to be going into the rest, the rest of the summer with some new tarot cards, which would be great. Would be so nice. I want to keep getting some tarot cards under our belts. But yes, hi Ike, it's so good to see you! And everyone else that is lurking, it's so very good to see you too. Thank you so much for being here and bearing with me through these new announcements. And without further ado... Let's get to drawing, shall we? I also need to take some water because I was wa uh, talking for too long. Mmm. <sighs> hey, Gemini. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in, my friend. How you doing? <sighs> oh, yes executive dysfunction. I completely understand that. Luckily, there wasn't a lot of d executive dysfunction today. The executive dysfunction happened over the weekend. 
uh, when I guess I wasn't really supposed to be working, but I was supposed to be planning what I was doing for the next week, and I fully did not. And I'm kind of just treading water this week. <laughs> it actually hit mid-70s today. Ooh, it's, it is 77 here now. It's gonna be nine, it's gonna be like 95 on Saturday. What? It's only the beginning of June, Minnesota. What's happening? What is happening? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is looking so good. All right. I think what we're gonna have to do today is we've got a lot of really good coloring done on mostly everything except for these vines. So I think we're really gonna have to get doing, get going on these vines. Like that's hot here in early June. Yeah. It's hot to be 95 here in early June. It only starts really getting warm-ish now, usually, but it's so warm. This is like mid-July temperatures, which is not good. It actually, <laughs> me, is a little gremlin running around with glue on a sewing kit and a box of damage stuff I got, I got to take them from work for free because we couldn't sell it. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like the best prize ever, Blizzard Star. That sounds like the absolute best prize ever. What you gonna make with all that stuff? Also, I feel like my I feel like my uh my music is too uh too loud. I will turn that down. Yeah, 95 degrees is late August weather. Also, around 4th of July. But maybe that's just because I usually spent 4th of July in things that was full of like really hot asphalt in parking lots like at a convention. Um, so maybe that's just me being hot outdoors a lot and in costume. I don't know. <laughs> I feel that I haven't planned anything at all. I mean, I don't even have a plan for my stream tonight. <gasps> You're streaming tonight? When you stream? When are you streaming? And what are you streaming? We also, we have also had way more rain in the, in the last than the last few years, which means more yard work and more secrets. I can't tell if we- I can't tell the- the rain level. I think we haven't gotten as much rain as we usually do, but also I'm not entirely sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I remember my- when my parents would run a triathlon in late August called the Dog Days Triathlon and it was always fun. I meant- I mean, spend most summers in an outdoor pool deck. I have no frame of reference. I mean, valid. I spent, I spent a lot of my summers doing conventions. So, I also don't have a very good frame of reference. I was either outside a lot or inside a lot. Well, I did, okay, so I was technically in conventions, I was end of school, June-ish, conventions, July, conventions, early August, end of August, started Renaissance Festival, and then into September and October, and it got cold. So I don't really have a good frame of reference for what summer is like either. <laughs> Less than an hour and I don't know? Ike! Less than an hour. You got this, like I believe in you. I believe in you, Ike. I'm really feeling this card should have like very warm yellow, yeah, like the end of the day and sunset colors and shadows all to it. I I I would love to do that. We we have not yet gotten to the lighting stage, but 
A warm sunset would be very, very fun. I'm honestly, I'm just cleaning up all that. I'm just doing all the work for these little vines. Because we still have all of these. Oh my god. This stream is just going to be vines, isn't it? It's just going to be vines. This is just going to be vines, and then intermittently I will zoom out and think it'll look gorgeous, and then I'll be back on the struggle bus. If I've learned anything, I think that's what it's going to be. My mom helped manage the outdoor pool, so I just lived there. My babysitters were often lifeguards. Pull to the rescue for Ike! <laughs> Whatever he wants. Oh, my baby. I mean, BB is always a very good choice. Though, I know you've been, I don't know, you could do some uh, chat suggestions. That is always fun. I like to live dangerously. Yeah, no, no kidding, Ike, no kidding. Summer in West Texas is 100 degree weather for weeks. Highs are like 110 to 115, but it can get over to the lower hundreds for several weeks. That sounds horrible. Is it at least a dry heat? I, I could maybe survive if it was a dry heat. I could not survive if it was muggy as hell like it is here in Minnesota. Minnesota is just a glorified swamp. It's a great place to live, but also it's a glorified swamp. <laughs> Whatever he wants, good. Always, always using your mod powers for evil. Why did I even give you a sword? Why was one of the pull indecisive John that defeats the pull point of a pull? <laughs> Singing some Hellboy. Ooh! Hellboy sketches. That sounds like a lot of fun. Go for that. Hellboy is a very interestingly designed character. Go, go hog wild, my dude. I'd love to see it. You made a pull of sense, which is baby or not. It is dry, but it gets so hot that leaves cook off the tree. It they cook off the trees? That's insane. That is insanity. That can't be real. No. No, no, no. That's insanity. Dry out. Little did we know that letting me pull a sword on a st mod stone would give me these powers. I can't just reckless. I can't just recklessly give people the sword in the stone. Sword in the stone thing. Too many of them turn out to be betrayers. Too many of them turn out to be betrayers. Our <laughs> team to quick doodle. What do you have, John Blint? A knife, mod sword free. No. <laughs> Oh, 
that's funny. That's good. That's a good one. That's a quick doodle. Doodle approved. Okay, are we... How is all of the vines? Alright. All of the vines on this section are done. Heck yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. They dry out. Those poor leaves! Those poor leaves, they don't know, they don't know what, what happened. I mean, I guess that's why desert flowers, de desert flowers, desert f flora are mostly cacti, because it's very hard to dry those out. Unless it's way too hot, then I mean, then you've got a problem for everybody. most of the doodles as just of John being an idiot are really either requested by are requested by Blizzard Star or hope just campaigned by you John I feel if we go back and look at the history I think that is I think I'm correct I think that you do, I think you do this to yourself. Or mes, mes, mesquite bushes with enough moisture they turn into trees. Hmm. Uh, our nasty little desert plants. Most desert plants are like, take me with you to spread life around or touch me, uh, touch me, I regret your life choices. Desert plants really have no chill on either end of the spectrum. No chill at all. Wow. No wonder I didn't start coloring them this color up by the tree. That's the same gosh dang color. Yikes. Oh, man. Alright. Second side. I always just take a time, I always just take time now to scroll up through the chat just in case I've missed anything that I would like, would have liked to respond to. And more often than not, sometimes, generally, I will miss something. But sometimes I don't. It has become a thing, even with, when there's not a lot of viewers, I'm like, I'm sure I've missed something. I'm here to create the awkward situation where Bree slowly cleans out her doodle queue, except I continue to be at work on Saturday, so it's just only me left, and then I get a Saturday off, and it's Danny Doodle Day. <laughs> only the rest have to say. <laughs> yes. One of these days, one of these days, it'll just be a fully Danny Doodle Day. And Danny will get to live their dream of being only have doodles that are theirs. I don't know if that was a complete sentence. Eh. Maybe I will get these vines done quicker than I thought, she says, cursing herself. Hold on. There we go. To balance streamer's day. All 
All right, Photoshop. See, I cursed myself. Look at this. Photoshop doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, fine. Now you want to cooperate now that I've called you out? Rude. What you've got to learn, children, is that drawing programs are really just, like, animals or cats, really. You have to ignore them and give them a lot of love. We also have to ignore them and just sort of... You can't say what you want them to do because then they won't do it. But then you have to kind of, like, say the opposite of the thing or call them out on it. They're like, no, I'm being good. They're like cats. Photoshop is like a cat. A cat drawing program, which is very annoying. Because sometimes it just doesn't want to do what you want it to do. Rude. <laughs> Daily dang it. It's a good thing Koala's not here, Gemini. She would have ruined you. We have a paint bucket tool too. It just doesn't like to work the way that it should. That was my that you you can do it another you can do it another day, Danny. But maybe you'll forget. It's always a it's always a gamble. Every day there's too many good ideas. You only get one. Someone remind me to draw a Photoshop being an obnoxious cat like Garfield style for Brie. Aww. I would, that'd be so cute. There's really, I mean, if, if, if my streams are anything, that, if my streams are anything, then they are, uh, it is hosts doing something on stream while being distracted by cute animals with the antagonist being Photoshop. And that is the storyline of literally every stream, I think. If this, if, if this, if we made a movie, Photoshop would become the antagonist, would become the villain of our story, even though it is what I'm using the entire time. I don't have a brain! My Brian is busted. Hashtag free Brian. Why are you ho holding Brian hostage? <laughs> no, Danny, please draw it. Draw it for me. I don't draw it for me. I want to see it. I want to see your take on it. Do a twenty-minute doodle yourself and go hog wild. <laughs> For every Brian in captivity. Also, thank you, Haku. They are very floofy. I w I'm very, very pleased in how I drew these flowers. They are looking absolute, absolutely scrumptious. Danny, you made my Brian. 
You didn't. You Danny. You made my bride all fit, frazzled. How could you? How could you? How could you frazzle my Brian? <laughs> Sorry, that was a dumb. I, why am I fuck is that? <laughs> frazzle my Brian. <sighs> I had so much food today. Why am I so loopy? <laughs> Did I? Add, no, I had food today. I had lunch. I remember eating it. Oh boy. It's these vines. It's the vines. It's the vines of old. <laughs> They're holding my Brian hostage. Prompt cartoon of Danny with their head open and Brian standing there inside their head looking lost. <laughs> it's just, it's just the me, it's that meme of John Travolta just looking around like, what the fuck? <laughs> On Saturday, we request frazzled my Brian. <laughs> Uh. That would be lovely. Don't design t-shirts while loopy, children. Or do design t-shirts while loopy. Really depends. Really depends on the kind of t-shirt you want. TKO has proved that t-shirts while loopy is a gold mine. You know, valid. Valid, Ike. You got me there. Just have quite a lot more vines to go. <laughs> That's true, you could play TKL on your stream. That would be very fun. Sometimes the food is so good that Claire would be thought is impossible. You know, Valid, I had I had some ramen and uh, I had some ramen and some uh, spring rolls for lunch today. And I spent this weekend eating a lot of food. It, since it was Memorial Day weekend here, it was sort of like, and everyone in both mine and Daniel's families are vaccinated, except for uh, Daniel's brother who uh, is not able to be vaccinated because he is underage. But anyways, um, since we were all vaccinated, we all got together and had like a grill out. We had a grill out with Daniel's family on Sunday and then we had a grill out yesterday with my family and so I've eaten, like, so many brats and, like, salads and guacamole and brownies and things. I had so much food this weekend. <laughs> I am stuffed. <laughs> Knowing how my friends play together, I would get banned instantly. Eh. Ooh, you had corn on the cob today? Yum. We have some in my fridge. We have some in the fridge. We made some yesterday and everyone was too full to eat it, so we didn't get to eat any of it. <laughs> everyone really dodging the question about me going off about Magic Brian from Taz, because I do have feelings about him and I will make you feel that too. I fully did not know that you were talking about Magic Brian from Taz.
I do not have I don't have many feelings about Magic Brian from Taz. I am sad to say. It has been a long time since I have consumed Taz media. I finished Balance and then I started Amnesty and then I just haven't gone back. Mainly probably just because podcasts are super not my media, my medium. I just cannot focus. Better to burn out than fade away. True. Very true. <laughs> Get everyone a little tipsy. Turn on TKO. Profit? I mean, TKO profits if you buy those- if you buy those t-shirts. Grill food really is such a summer vibe. Since it is now officially summer, we, we can have that summer vibe. Though it's felt like summer here for many weeks. I've, we've grilled probably once a week since April started. <laughs> no, probably not once a week since April started. We've grilled a lot, though. We've grilled a whole butt ton in this household. Mainly because Daniel bought a new grill, but. <laughs> when John said to, fee to free Brian, I was like, well, I could dig up my magic Brian opinions and nobody responded. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry that I missed your Magic Brian, uh, your Magic Brian reference, Danny. I mean, drow, drow, lovely drowmen. I have lots of feelings about lovely drowmen. Which I am able to dish out specifically about Essex Thalys to one, uh, sweet sweet breadcrumbs in the chat and or Miranda in real life um because Miranda hasn't caught up at all on Critical Role and uh hasn't watched the second campaign at all has watched fully the first campaign and only knew of uh Essek by referencing him as hot boy um based on what they've seen on Tumblr and uh Miranda will sometimes ask me how hot boy is doing <laughs> And I will get to you just tell her all about, uh, tell her all about Essex new escapades. Uh, especially since this new arc featured super heavily on Essex. And, uh, I, I was like, Miranda, Hot Boy's back! And Miranda's like, oh my god, you have to tell me everything about Hot Boy! And it's great. Anyways. <laughs> I feel, so I feel you on drow feelings. I said capades. <laughs> if I'm not driving anywhere, then I can only listen to th short 30 minute podcasts. Uh, if I have a two hour commute, then I can listen to podcasts that are longer. Yeah, I can listen to podcasts sometimes while I'm working. I do listen to Mabim Bam pretty uh, frequently, which is the, which is uh, the McElroy Brothers comedy podcast, or it's or technically my brother, my brother and me is what it is, but my bim bam is what it's referred to as because it's a long ass title. Anyways, I listen to that pretty frequently, mainly because it is a comedy podcast and it doesn't require like me to pay attention too much. And I can usually do it while I'm doing other things. But like the only I think the only reason why I got through Taz Balance was because it um was because I was listening to it while I was working a whole bunch at, in a pretty, like, manual labor-heavy job. 
um, i.e. a library job, which you wouldn't really think is manual labor heavy, but I had to, um, I had, I, I was one of the people, I was, like, one of the only people on the staff that was trained on the stock picker, so I spent, like, a majority of my time in a very cold, uh, very kept cold, uh, archival, uh, archival, uh, vault where I would go up and down grabbing books for people and sorting through things and things. So I could, I could listen to Taz while doing that, but when I, once I graduated and stopped working at that job, I really did not have the ability or attention span to listen to podcasts very often. And it was nice to have something to listen to while I, uh, was alone in a cold, dark vault. <laughs> And it was fucking freezing. I get cold super easily. I would have, even on, like, summer days, I would have to bring a pair of pants and sweatpants. I'd have to bring a pair of, like, sweatpants and, like, a jacket to work every day in my backpack so that I wouldn't be cold while I was on the stock picker. Because if I forgot, I was freezing. Because <laughs> I was down there for, like, two hours at a time or more. Oh boy. I'm going to watch the last Critical Role episode, then the finale. I don't care if I'm going to watch the next campaign, assuming they have one. I think, I think it'll honestly have to depend. I don't know not I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what's going on, but I've heard very good things about last episode and what's going to be uh and I mean the last episode of this campaign. So, we'll see. I do not know how I feel. I do not know what they're going to be doing and in terms of uh doing content warnings and things. I don't think they're going to be a <laughs> I don't think they're going to be doing a new campaign for another like half a year though. I think they're gonna go do a whole bunch of one-shots and things like that. You tried to at John again? Uh, I'm not great at listening to podcasts in the car. I have a few other places to belt musicals and 2000s pop punk where none else can hear. Yeah. I mostly listen to music in the car. Librarians throw mean right hooks. It's all the lifting they do throughout the day. I and I mean it. Don't box a librarian. I mean, I, I have since lost all of my upper body strength that I got while I was a librarian. I had to lift some very heavy boxes, and it was very difficult, and I was able to do it for, and I got stronger over time, but I've not been at that job for almost two years at this point. So, yeah. I've lost literally all of my ability to maybe throw a good punch. <laughs> I am a weakling. Here's just a- <laughs> Oh, are you talking about Magic Brian? Magic Brian is a very good character. Ooh, no, don't worry about sorry for the lurk. What game are you playing, Haku? Lurk all you need. I'm glad you're having fun with the game. Oh my gosh, are we in the home stretch? 
for these vines? Is it too is it too early to tell? Is it too good to be true? We'll find out next time on Bree tries to do a really detailed piece. Part 9. <laughs> Next time on Dan and Ballsy! <laughs> Can Bree actually draw, draw a tarot card in a timely manner? Probably not. But it'll be fun to see her try. Hmm. I was gonna make a reference to something, but I don't know if anyone would get it, so I'm not going to do it, and I'm just gonna ruminate on it and think that I'm funny. I'm only explaining because so do you know what my facial journey was. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't type because of your broken phone Haku you gotta get a new phone Haku if you can't type you have to get a new phone my friend why haven't you got a new phone yet <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> Prey? What is Prey about? I've never heard of that game. Oh my goodness. Did I do it? Are all of the- are all of the vines colored? Holy shit! I did it! They look- they look colored to me! Did I miss anything? Is anything- am I missing anything? I don't know and I can't tell! <laughs> Are all of the vines colored? Hello? I wish that Photoshop could just tell me if they were or not. Photoshop, can't you just help me? They look colored to me! They look colored to me! Eh? Eh? Did we do it? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh no, I did some of the coloring on the wrong layers. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, alright. I'll just clean that up. No worries. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> yeah, no, the great word, the, the coloring page, this page is not done yet. Just the vines. Just the vines are done. It's okay. I, that'll be an easy fix. Now, to clean it up. And then do shading? That's probably the next thing. Yes? Yes. Yes. I think shading is the next thing we do. Maybe we do finish this today. Maybe we do finish this today. I don't know. This is a streamer, if you can't make obscure, if you can't make obscure references just for yourself, then what's the point? You know, valid. I was just, ba basically what I was gonna say was that uh, I feel like this, um, this tarot card is kind of like the tournament arc that it just keeps going and going and going. And it's kind of boring, but there's some moments that are really exciting and then the rest of it's rather boring. That's what I was feeling. That's sort of what I was feeling in terms of the da the Don and Ball Z reference. Anyways, I didn't, it wasn't as fun if I was going to explain it, and I didn't want to explain it, so I didn't do it. But now I'm doing it, so yeah. <laughs> I think they went for action horror though. Oh, I can't really piece out what genre exactly it's supposed to be to be, but flying around in space is so much fun. Ooh, that is fun. Flying around in space is very very fun. I, I, like, I got no clue about main story. All I know is I have a friend person, and they are alien- There are aliens, and exploring the station is fun, so I want this game in VR, please. Ooh. I mean, I know, in terms of, like, space games that are in VR, I know that they have No Man's Sky VR, but I have not played it. Mainly because I get very, very motion sick very quickly. But I've heard very good things about No Man's Sky VR, if you are into that. Yes, I was. Look, I don't know. I know that you know about anime, but I don't know how much other people know about anime. And I don't know if other people know that a tournament arc is like a thing that is in every freaking shonen anime ever. Or sports anime. I don't know. I don't know what people know. All right, I think that is clean. That is cleaned up the flowers. Okie dokie. Let's add some more to these purple and pink flowers. Do 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 do. I don't even watch it. I, mean, I just know. Well, good for you. Oh my goodness! Tabletop horn, Virginia. Hello, welcome on in, Raiders. Hello, hello, everybody. How was Rainbow Six Siege today? I gotta run and eat, but have a lovely stream. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome in, Raiders. How are we all doing today? I hope that this is a this is a welcome change of pace from your Rainbow Six stream. It looked like it was a lot of fun. I was lurking in it earlier. And also, yes, thank you so much for the shout out to for Tabletop Horde. Tabletop Horde is an absolutely amazing person and has been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege recently. If you are interested in that content, you should definitely go and follow her. Or you should just go follow her because she's an absolutely lovely person. And uh, one of my oldest uh, stream friends. So definitely go and check her out. Thank you, thank you so much for the raid. 
How is everyone in the raid doing? How is your Tuesday going? We are currently working on the Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles card. Doing our best to uh, get it as finished as possible. Um, we're probably gonna not finish it today, but you know, miracles could happen. Yes, welcome to Virginia. <laughs> well, for everyone that came in with the raid um, and doesn't know doesn't know who I am, my name is Bree. I am a, a digital artist here on Twitch. Hello, Orange. Welcome on in. Um, I stream uh, tarot drawing streams every Tuesday, which is what we're doing today. Um, we're working on the Nine of Pentacles uh, tarot card. Um, I also uh, do commission streams on Thursdays uh, and 20-minute uh, doodle streams on uh, Saturdays. So if any of those sound like something you would uh, enjoy watching, definitely um, give me a follow and uh, come into the streams in the future. Because I would love to have you. And welcome you all into the brigade. Welcome on in! How's your Tuesday going, my friend? What have you been up to? We've just been chatting and working on some vines. We just teleported her whole house to another state while all the fairy dust fell spent. Yes. No, yeah. Uh, the reason you guys are collecting fairy dust and giving it back to me is so that I can fly. For real. It's real fairy dust, and I will be able to fly if you uh, collect it. So make sure to subscribe, and to follow, and to chat, and to uh, give bits, and to give, give subs, so that you can get fairy dust, so that I can fly in real life. <laughs> also, I typed... <laughs> Man, that'd be dope if that were real, though. If you could actually just fly with fairy dust in real life. Man. If Peter Pan was real, lots of things would be scary. But also, you would be- there's also be a way for you to fly. So, you know. Not all bad. Okay, why are there these blue lines? Why, how did this happen? Okay, I gotta clean up. There's a lot of white over here, and I gotta clean that up. And then, should be good for now, I think. Then we'll start doing the shading. Maybe we'll get to the end of it today? I don't know. <laughs> we saw her together, us. Wait, literally, Brie, did I fucking stutter? <laughs> I can't see many. Well, that doesn't ma that doesn't matter. You are giving it to me, and then I'll just redistribute it back to you. It's it's really a cycle. Don't worry too much about it. Do 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 do. Making this tree thick. Thick tree. Then we're making this grass thick. And then all the white is gone. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks less weird now. <laughs> Alright. Am I forgetting anything? Maybe a little bit. That's okay. I'm having a good time. 
Having a good time. Okay. Pardon moi. Why aren't you letting me color? There we go. That's what I needed. Yeah. Adding highlights to this grass. Man, I'm doing so much detail to this piece and you probably won't even see it, but that is okay. I'll know that is there and then it will have been worth it. He's curting their heads. <laughs> is that from the tree's perspective? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. Okay, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. I think it's time to shade. I think we're doing it. I think we're shading. I think it's time to shade. We're going into the forbidden lands, the forbidden lands of shading and not just base coloring. The crazy forbidden lands. The lawless wasteland of shading. <laughs> oh, I thought you were asking if you should do that, and to that I say, of course you should. Go get your meds. Go get your meds, Danny. Go take care of yourself. I don't know if that looks good. I just kind of went a little bit too hog wild there, huh? Well, while I'm doing the shading, what is everyone, what is everyone's plans for this week? What is everyone up to? Anything exciting, exciting happening this week? At the beginning of the month? Any fun pride celebrations? I have no idea if any of the pride parades are in any any place is actually happening or not. I have never actually been to a pride before. I have not kept up with it, sadly. I've always wanted to go. Just haven't had the time. I haven't really went. Mainly because I know a lot of people that have that go there are from my high school and I just don't want to run into them. <laughs> Which is a weird way, reason to go, but Yes, look at that depth, though. Look at that depth, though. Oh, 
Oh yeah, baby. She looks like a real person. She looks like she's 3D. When will science make the one personalized uh, pill I can take so I don't have to remember that all these different medications I get at different times? I don't have a problem that I have to take all these different drugs. I just wish it was easier to put all these chemicals inside my body. I mean, that would be nice. The medical field doesn't make things easy in any reason for any reason. Gonna do the shading for a body on the same Oh yeah. Shading, shading. Man. Much like the Hero Fan, this piece is gonna have some very particular shading, and I'm quite excited about it. Shading is my favorite part. I don't know why. I just like making it look 3D, even in my very cartoony style. Give me the sci-fi movie right uh, before it hates dystopia so I can get my omni drug. You know, I understand that wish. There's a lot of really cool things about uh, sci-fi right before it hates dystopia, but we all that always just dips right into dystopia. Can we just get to the part where it's not horrible, maybe? It's truly what everyone wishes. Thank you for the clip. <laughs> Look, while I am concentrating on sh on doing art, sometimes I sing to myself, okay? Y'all are just gonna have to deal with it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Shading. <laughs> Based on the position of the sun. Hell yeah. think so, but you, coloring something that is very bright and sunny is actually quite a lot of work. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really think so, because you're like, well, I mean, it's sunny. Wouldn't all the colors be the colors that they need to be? And no. No, actually. Sometimes the sun makes things very difficult to draw. Sun! why we clip it. That's why I sing, well, I sing while I work all the time. I don't really sing while I work but when I'm by myself. I mostly just sing while I'm on stream because it helps me focus. Hey, Rel, welcome on in. Hello, hello, and thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I'm very pleased with this so far. We're getting to the shading aspect of it. Do 
How is your Tuesday going, Rel? It's great to see you. How to make your movie darker. More lighting! Very true. I mean, yeah. The more dynamic lighting you have, the darker things get. Just a little bit, just a little bit of shading from all these big old grass tufts. You know how it is. Oh my. That actually looks really good. Heck yeah! <laughs> Just one minute. I'm watching the uh, C.S. Murray Universe episode right now. <gasps> Ooh! I still haven't watched that, and I really should. It. I. I'm finally getting the. I'm finally getting back into the rhythm of not just watching reruns of things, um, and f being okay with consuming new content. It's been a while since I've been okay with consuming new, new content for a while, because I don't know. There was just. I was very stressed for a while for no particular reason, and I just wanted comfort food shows and not have to stress. Like, I didn't want the stress of not knowing what comes next. So I haven't caught up in Clear Skies in a very long time. But I really, really want to. They've been coming out with some really cool stuff with one-shots and things, and I miss my stream punks very, very much. Please, how is, how is the music Mirror Universe episode? Let me know. Let me know, Rel. It's, it's a focus thing for me, too. The other thing I'll do is narrate stuff I'm doing in a character's voice. I am i won't really do that. A lot of time when I'm just sort of, like, trying to work through... I have I have a lot of feelings about media. I'm, I get very... I get very invested in media. And so I have a lot of feelings about it. And when I have a lot of feelings about certain media, then I will when I am alone, will be playing things over and over and over in my head. Sort of like how someone would if they, like, were in, like, an argument and then, like, a, will have realized that, like, a better thing to say or, like, w is, is anticipating a conversation with someone and will, like, rehearse both sides of the conversation in their head. I'll do that with fictional characters and, um, for, like, not even just for the Phoenix. I will do that for the Phoenix, which is sort of how I write a lot of time, where I'll just sort of, like, talk to myself as the characters. Uh, but I will do that for other fictional characters and sort of go through scenarios um, to sort of, like, make myself calm down from all of the stress that I have about fictional characters. <laughs> you know. And, uh, more than, it's happened, it happens, it happened a lot when I was at my, uh, my parents' house, and my brother would always come in and be like, what the fuck are you doing? And I have to explain to him that I am talking to myself about fictional characters as the fictional characters while pacing in my room. Um, but it's happened a few times, it's happened a few times here, um, at my house as well, where Daniel will, apparently, I've started talking loud enough for him to hear. I do it in, I try to do it in a place where he won't hear me because I don't want to explain that this is what I'm doing. Um, but he will come in and be like, who the fuck are you talking to? I'm like, myself. <gasps> oh my gosh! Hi, Ash. Hi! Hello, my sweet. We've been blessed, everybody. Hi. Hello. Will Are we blessed? Have you blessed us with your presence? Are you gonna hang out for a bit? Hello. Yeah, come on. Come on up. Jump on up, jump on up. Yes! Look at my baby, look at my girl. Hello. Hello, look at this kitty. We have got a cat, Tam, and some cherry blossom lights. 
What a, what a good time. What a good time. We have been blessed. I'm still eight episodes behind on uh, SP stuff right now. The MU is a lot, uh, a lot of dark, angry fun with many pupies. Awesome. I am uh, with many dark, angry fun with many pupies. That would be very fun. I feel like that would be very cathartic to watch. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Rel. Are your book characters having difficulties again, Marge to Lisa? That's me all of the time. That is me all of the time. It's so nice to know I'm not the only one that's doing that because my family's like that. Fam. Yeah, I'm the only one. I'm I'm the only one that is d does that with anybody that I know really. So I'm glad a lot of you of my viewers do the same thing. So I don't feel so alone pacing and talking and pretending to be other characters <laughs> and not just like. <laughs> I am glad I'm not alone in this. I'm, I'm sure I would enjoy it. There's a lot of the, there's a lot of their uh, stuff that I know that I would enjoy. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I will. I will. I'll probably start a thread on Twitter just reacting to things once I start getting caught up. Because it's been a while and I haven't done any fan art for them in a very long time. And I'm feel I'm very sad about it. <gasps> yes, do it orange. I can't wait to see it. Draw that pixie. I daydream out loud. Me too. That me too. Me too. I'm just pacing and talking to yourself. No, Rel, that's not weird. I do that too. <laughs> Like, I do like the self-insert phenomenon sometimes when it's like, me, you know, like the media where like everyone's an idiot and no one's talking to each other and like obviously as a like, as a person uh, that is consuming this media, you're like, what if I could just go into this show and tell them, that, tell everyone that they're being stupid and they should just fucking fix it? And uh, I do that a lot. I have a lot of those fantasies where I'm like, I'm just gonna go in and fix their problems for them because they're stupid. <laughs> I do that so often. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird that people uh uh who are like alike find each other and just vibe together even without knowing how alike they are it's really lovely <laughs> yeah self like i was for like the longest for the longest time self inserts were like super frowned upon in fan media for like a very long time and I was always the person that loved to do self inserts because I just wanted to be in those worlds and to be with those characters and to make them realize how dumb they're being and and they're frowned on for a long time and I feel like a lot of recently everyone's like you know what self inserts are actually good and I'm like, yes, bring self-inserts back into the realm of fandom. Do it, cowards. Speaking of random fun summer things while going outside, I, uh, I was grossing John and Gilly out in voice chat the other day while following my cat around during his outside time, and I got distracted showing them just the ring of cicada shells around the bottom of a tree that I lost track of my cat and had to go find him. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're on the East Coast, right? Where all of the cicadas are. Yeah. Daniel's cousin has been collecting the cicadas that they find in just a bucket. I don't know why. She just has. And she just... So they have, like, a family voice chat every so often. And one time she just like held up a handful of cicadas and she's like, hey, look, these are my cicadas. Yeah. Just a full of like live cicadas in her hand. And I was like, God, Jesus. Yeah, self inserts get conflated with Mary Sue's too much. A hundred percent. But also like, if it's, if you're self 
self insert is a Mary Sue. Like if it's just like for if it's for fun for you to have ever like fucking have a character be a Mary Sue or whatever. Like who cares? It's fun. It's media. It's not real. Don't take, don't take things so seriously. I need a big bucket. It was a, it was a fucking big ass bucket. I feel like fan content in general is way more acceptable, so that helps that too. That's true. Very true. Fan, fan con is, fan content is definitely a lot more acceptable nowadays. Especially that so many of them, a lot of the famous books recently have been, um, uh, have been fanfic. So, there's that. Not saying that I really think that it's a good thing that those famous books have become fanfic, because I don't think they're very well written, but whatever. That's a different issue. I have feelings about the, the, what's it called? I don't even remember what it's called. I just have feelings about it. I read the first two books and it sucked and I stopped reading it because it was just a Harry Potter fan fiction with incest. Then they made a TV show out of it and I was like, really? <laughs> Shadow Hunters. That's what it is. Anyways, don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Sometimes you just want your self-insert to fanboy at your favorite characters or tell them they're being idiots rather than overshadow them. Very true. Also very true. Sometimes you just want to be in the story and tell people that they're being idiots and or just live in the world and that's fun. You've never heard of that before? You've never heard of Shadow Hunters? There's more than Fifty Shades? Yes. Yes. Fifty Shades was a Twilight fan fiction. Um, and Shadow Hunters, um, I almost said Shadow and Bone, but that, that's a different thing. If I have it, it's not with that pitch line. Well, of course not. Because. No one would tell you that. No one's gonna tell you that to get you to watch or read these books. Look up Shadow- just look up Shadowhunters. Um, basically, the first book is truly a Sorcerer in the Stone clone. Except, like, just- I mean, it's not fully- th it's not fully that because they don't go to, like, a magical school or whatever, but- Truly, the first book is a Sorcerer's Stone clone. Yes, the Mortal Instrument series. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. It's it's very Sorcerer's Stone clone in the first one. Um, like, basically, you start out in the regular world. You get told, the, 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 the girl gets told that she is magical. Uh... They go to a, they, they, she goes to a secret society. I mean, it's a lot darker than Harry Potter, for sure, but, like, the, like, plot points are basically just an A, it's basically just a Harry Potter AU. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically a Harry Potter AU where all of the characters are Nephilim, and, um, which is where I first heard about, where I first, like, learned about Nephilim and realized that they're not the same thing. Anyways. Is the, is the author a turf? I'm not entirely sure. I do not know. But. It's a bad book series anyways. Um. 
Uh, but basically, you basically find out that her dad, like, her dad or his, basically you find out, so, like, there's two love interests and they're love interests and whatever, and then you first find out that the bad guy is the main guy, is the love interest's dad, I think? I think that's the, what the first revealed. I'm just gonna spoil it because it doesn't matter. Um, so spoilers ahead, but the bad guy is his dad, and then they find out that the bad guy is also her dad. And then it becomes incest. It's later hand-waved because he's actually adopted by the guy, and they're not actually blood-related, but they don't know that. Anyways. It gets wild. There is a queer relationship in it. But I'm pretty sure early on one of them dies? Anyways, it's very edgy. It's a Harry Potter clone. <laughs> uh, it's a Harry Potter clone, AU, type of thing. Anyways, <laughs> it's really bad. And they made a TV show out of it. Yep. <laughs> it's not good. I don't- I think in the TV show he doesn't die, but I'm not entirely sure. He doesn't die, like, right in the beginning of it. I think it's, like, three or so books in he dies. Or gets- go, goes back in time. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he doesn't die. It's honestly been a while. Well, I'm going to go back to Pew Pews now. Have fun, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping in, Rel. I really, really enjoyed having you here. Have a good time watching the Mirror Universe episode. But also, Shadow Flames, hello and welcome on in. Sorry if this is what we're talking about now, because it's honestly wild. And I just... The fact that so many of you don't know that it exists is baffling to me. Because, like, it... I started reading it when I was on, like, a YA kick when I was in, like, early, like, late middle school, early high school, uh, and I read the first few Divergent books, I read the first few of these books, I read a f um, and things like that, and, uh, I had quickly realized that they were shit. Um, I think I stopped reading Divergent, I think I stopped reading Divergent, like, either during the first book or during the set or in the middle of the second book and then um and then again same with uh the mortal instruments i think maybe i stopped reading in the third book just in case it got good for some reason like they basically the first and second book were like a storyline like was a like a legitimate storyline that they kind of like dealt with um, the first and second book kind of, like, dealt with the storyline, and then I think it got, like, picked up after that or whatever, and they started going in a completely different direction, because they, like, killed the bad guy, I think, in the second book. Anyways, and they were, it, yeah, and it's, it was bad, and I was like, this is going nowhere, this sucks, and then they made it into a TV show, and I didn't watch it, obviously. Um, but the character that they ca- the, the two characters that they cast to play the gay relationship were really cool, and apparently a lot of people liked their gay relationship because the show actually put a lot more- <laughs> put a lot more emphasis on their relationship than pretty much any other relationship in the show, so that's nice. And I don't think any- either of them died, as far as I can tell. Maybe they did. I don't know. I didn't watch the show. And yeah. Look it up. It's wild. <laughs> And it was, you, you, it was a Harry Potter AU where she just changed the names of the characters and then published it. Ta-da! <laughs> Fun facts with Brie. But also, hi, Shadow Flames. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for ignoring you while I was talking about this. How are you doing? How is your Tuesday going? Welcome on in. 
I heard how you plan out your comic. I heard how you plan out your comics. For me, one of the books I'm writing is a fantasy mystery, but don't make show the fantasy till later. So for my main character, I try to make him sound crazy or paranoid to the reader. And as time goes on, make the reader doubt, then reinforce the crazy and fix again. Ooh, very cool. That's a very interesting uh, way to keep people on their toes. I like it. My friend is writing a fic that's just Harry Potter, but people tell Harry literally anything and make it better, and it's great. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm down for that. I'm super down for that. I love it when people, for a lot of media, when there's, like, lots of glaring holes in it, I really like it when people write, like, fix it, like, comics or, uh, fix it or fix it comics or fix it, um, uh, fix for them. I find that very fun. Just to see how other people would have, like, approached the story in a different way. And I like that a lot. There are some of them that I really, really enjoy in the Miraculous Ladybug fandom, which I have since stopped watching after, like, season two or whatever, where it kind of, like, just got very annoying for me. Um, it was fun in the beginning, and then it had such potential, and then it just didn't go anywhere. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, some there's, like, two comics that I really enjoy reading on Tumblr, that are Miraculous Ladybug re uh, ones. One's uh, called, like, Scarlet Lady, I think, where the the the, the ladybug, the, super, the, the main superhero, is actually uh, accidentally becomes Chloe, which is, like, the mean girl in the show. And then the Chat Noir is still the same person, is still Adrian. Um, and then, um... And then, so basically, it's basically just... It's an AU where only one thing is, like, only one thing is, like, changed, but, like, it makes the whole show, like, so much in more interesting, and, like, the love square between, like, the alter egos of characters and stuff is so much more healthy and so much more, like, interesting because the main girl character doesn't start out as a superhero and is just a badass person in general. Anyways, if you're on Tumblr and want to look it up, I highly recommend reading this comic. It's very good. And it makes Miraculous Ladybug so much better. Um, and then there was another one. And then there's a few other ones. But yeah, anyways. Whatever. I mean, some of my OCs, like, I, I've i kind of been on a freaking, the love square is so funny, I know, right? It's so stupid. It's so funny and so stupid. Anyways. I mean, some of my OCs, like, the characters get adopted by the same people as teens, and I love they have two different timelines for them, one where they consider each other sisters, and one where they get to the other, because you can't have both, or that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Jokes on you, I'm, 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 I'm not my twin grid, I'm Forge. <laughs> ah, that's great. That's very funny. Oh, wait, they made a film out of Mortal Instruments? I did not know that. I did not know that they made a film out of it. I just knew that they made a show. Well, I'm, I'm glad that it flopped. That is, uh, that's what it deserves. Yeah, the love square is so funny. The love square is so funny. You know, when it's this love square of, but it's two people, but they have, but they have their superhero identities and then their civilian identities. And then the, the, and then the boy likes the superhero identity and the girl likes the civilian identity and it becomes a love square. Ha! <laughs> wild there's wild media out there f fella fellows <laughs> that's exactly what it deserves <laughs> I have 
feelings, okay? I did not have a fun time reading those books. It's, a, it's all the cover for all the teens I had to suffer through reading it. Oh god, yeah. Oh, you had to review the film? Oh, no! I mean, we should all have feelings about a lot of things. We're all people that have thoughts and opinions, and we should all have feelings about a lot of things. Can you say anything good about it? No, of course not! I was like, there are not enough words in the English language to articulate how bad this film is. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. know if I was recommended the Mortal Instruments series by an actual human. I think I might have just been recommended to it by uh, my Kindle. Because I think I had read the Divergent series before it, and then I, um, I was reading it all on my Kindle at the time, uh, and I think I read the Divergent series before it, and then they're like, well, Here's a book kind of like Divergent, and I was like, okay, let's see if this is any good. And it wasn't. Surprise, surprise. Kindle lies. Very true. All the funny graduation cards have spaces and jokes about giving the grad money, about giving the grad money, but I'm giving my stepbrother something else, uh, but where uh, are my funny cards? I don't give sentimental cards. <laughs> I mean, you could just get the money cards and then scratch out money and then write something else in it. we color this butch, this butch, this bush, um, I'm gonna take a quick break to go use the bathroom and fill up on some water, um, mainly because I realized that I just, I went on a tangent for a very long time and I've run out of water trying to drink it. Yeah, Daniel just got home, Ash! Daniel just got home. Stay with us though, please. Keep, keep blessing the stream, my sweet. We're almost done with- we're almost done shading this bush. And then I will come back and probably go on another tangent about something else. You know, the good old times. 
Was it while we were coloring this that we went on a tangent about Pokemon? I have a visceral memory about Pokemon, but I cannot remember at what, at what stream or how many streams ago that was. But it, the po our Pokemon talk was fully full force still in my mind. Because if, we if we were drawing this card while we were talking about Pokemon, that was two weeks ago. And I have not stopped thinking about it. It was definitely while we were calling it. Wow, that was two weeks ago. That was fully two weeks ago, and I have not stopped thinking about it. Yikes. Okay. We've done some stuff. We've done some stuff. Stuff has happened, and it has been, it is, it's a thing that happens. We have still quite a little bit of little, small little detail shading to do in the tree, um, and maybe on the vines, I don't know, maybe we'll get to the vines later. Uh, and then we've got to clean up this blanket, uh, shading just for the, just by nature of this, that's just how shading works. And then we've got the background shading and the extra shading for the lighting. And then fixing up this yellow lighting. And then, of course, probably adding a gradient. Whew! We probably won't get this done today, today, which means that we will be streaming this for a ninth time. And we'll probably be finishing it on our ninth stream. Jeez. Oh, man. That, what, what a time to be alive. I was thinking of the dystopian teen novels I read in middle school and really liked. Uh, is there- I don't know if there's any dystopian teen novels that I read that I liked. I- I mean, I'm not a huge dystopia fan, though, so. Your Pokemon TED Talk was during Tuesday. <laughs> My TED Talk about Pokemon? Oh, no. Alright, we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna ruminate on the fact that you called this my TED Talk. And um, I will be back with some more water and having used the restroom. I will see you all very soon. And I hope you all take care of yourself. Go dewater and rewater. Take your meds and get a snack. I'll see you all in like five minutes. I'm back. Hello, everyone. Ash, had deci Ash has decided to go and hang out with Daniel instead of us. You can, uh, you can all just blame Daniel for, for no Ash then. But also, hello everyone! Welcome back. How was the break? I messed up my bobby pin uh, while I was gone. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Oh, we're still, are we still talking about book series? I'm down for that. But hello! Welcome back everyone. And for everyone that has just popped in after the break, hello! Welcome on in! How's your Tuesday going? What's everyone up to? I hope everyone dewatered and rewatered. I did. I have a full Zelda cup of water. And I'm ready to go back to doing some shadow work. Just doing some shadow work on this tree. I'm still debating whether or not I'm still debating whether or not to, um, shade the vines. I know it would look good if I did, but I also don't want to work on the vines anymore. <laughs> I know this is something that I signed myself up for, but also, what if I didn't? <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> we haven't already spent an hour on them. Did I really spend an hour on doing those vines? That is, that's too much work for some vines. The curse of getting better at art is really that things take so much longer than you thought they were going to. Like, you're like, oh, I can whack out this little detail uh, in a very short amount of time. It'll be fine. And then you're like, oh, wait, no. I got way more detailed since the last time I tried to do this. And now it's going to take me so long. And I hate it. But also chat distract. Look, I need I need y'all's distractions. I, I won't be able to stay sane uh, doing all this much work on this piece if y'all don't distract me. I need some distractions. Why do you think I'm drawing this on stream, you know? I need y'all's input. I need y'all's distractions. I need I need the patented, brig patented brigade chaos to do any work on this. Sometimes, with work that's this detailed, you just gotta honestly turn your brain off. Those flowers, though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I really love how fluffy they are. I just kinda wanna stick my face in them and just sniff them. You know? Just put your whole face in the big flowers and just go, Mmm. Smells so good in here. That would be the best. They look like villas. They really do. They really do. You know what? Take a nap if you need a nap. Maybe both. <laughs> Definitely both. They definitely look like pillows, and also you need a nap. Those are not mutually exclusive. Hmm. Is there any other small details that I could do? Other than on the flowers and vines. Or should I just get to doing the coloring? Or like the big shading. The qu these are the questions we ask. I am really liking this, though. It's been taking a lot of work, but it's been extremely rewarding. You have work. You have work tomorrow. Come on, Haku. Go to bed. Take care of yourself. What you doing? What you doing? Why aren't you taking care of yourself? And why isn't Photoshop responding? <laughs> no, no, no. You shouldn't take a nap. You should go to bed, Haku. But yes, rest well, Haku. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a very, very good uh, rest of your night and a very good sleep. Bye, Haku. I mean, I know what you've been doing. I know what you've been doing. Why are you just doing that? Ugh. Huh. Fine. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Take care of yourself, Haku, or I will come to Germany and I will make you take care of yourself. Okay? I'm watching you. What was I doing? Oh, I was gonna save my work. That's what I was doing. Why am I... Why am I flipping through... Channels on my Discord instead of saving my work? I don't know. My Brian has left me again. I left to go get water, and my Brian left me. 
I feel like we crossed the point of no return for naps. If I nap now, I'm not going to bed until way too late and I have to be up early tomorrow. Yeah, valid. Very valid. Oh. Now you're working. Now you're working, Photoshop. I see. I see how it is. This is going to be a lot of erasing, but well, that's okay. We'll figure it out. That's okay. Sometimes you need to erase some things to make it look good. And you just got to do a lot of big, big strokes. Big strokes. And, you know, go for it. And hope for the best. Hookie dookie. Hookie dookie. The tree shade. The other shade. Alright. Now into the min minute detail work. Even smaller eraser. There we go. Yup. Welcome to me being extremely zoomed in on this canvas for the rest of the stream. Just enhance. I feel like there should be an enhanced dance. I feel like that would be fun. I don't know what that would entail. But an enhanced dance seems like it'd be fun. We're just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just listening to this dance music and thinking an enhanced dance sounds fun. I haven't ever, I was gonna say I haven't ever danced before. That is simply not true. <laughs> I'm not a I base. I was what I was trying to say is I'm not a choreographer, and I do not know what that would entail in the slightest. Some lush vegetables. <laughs> I know nothing about movement based art. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? <laughs> what is this clip of? What did I miss about this clip? Are you, is this a clip of me saying that there needs to be an enhanced dance or something else entirely? <laughs> 
Here we go. There's some easy shading. Just erasing. Easy shading. For raise some things? What? Did I really say that? What's happening? <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm fully losing it. I'm talking nonsense and not remembering anything that I said. <sighs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> I feel about putting keep putting the flowers in the same because they're supposed to be in front of I don't know we'll see hey koala hello how's this how are you doing today we've missed you what's up how's your Tuesday going We'll see. We'll see what I feel about for the vines later. And the flowers. I'm gonna keep working on the background. Oh, wow. I had a lot in that one stroke. Huh. Brian has abandoned us all. Truly. I've had an okay day. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I'm glad you've had an okay day. I'm, very, I'm sorry that you're so tired. It seems like it's been a sort of tired, loopy day for us all after a very long weekend. <laughs> Brian is a brain typo, <laughs> truly. Brian is a brain typo. Thank you for, thank you for, uh, uh explaining. <sighs> Yay, meds. Congrats on getting your meds and some snacks. Errand, well done. I hear every time I hear this mu this music I always think like whenever they have a little like bring chime in it I always think it is a uh, a notification of something and I always look on my up on my screen and I'm like oh did I miss a notification and I'm like no it's just the god dang song <laughs> Oh, 
We are getting there. It's looking a lot better than it was. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so for the majority of the stream, brain has been Brian. You know, it's honestly... You could also, in, in a lot of, in some stressful circumstances or in depressive circumstances when you, you're, you say that you're having bad brain, you could just say that your Brian is messing with you or that Brian is specifically messing with you and make your brain just named Brian from now on and only, and blame Brian for all of the problems that has to deal with, that you have to deal with. I feel like it'd be very cathartic. Man, Brian, hate that guy. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Eat that fried chicken. I was gonna say I haven't had fried chicken in a long time, but that is a lie. I had fried chicken on Friday. <laughs> I'm already craving canes again. This is this is a problem. And now my house smells like fried chicken, now that I thought about it. Damn, Brian, why are you torturing me? <laughs> the brain weasels and gremlins, etc. have been named Brian the whole time! Truly. They've been named Brian the whole time. Alright, this is looking good. This is looking really good, guys. We're getting somewhere. We're actually getting somewhere with this piece. <laughs> Brian, why did you do that? Do what? Not you, Brian. My brain, Brian. Very good, Shadow Flames. I know we had canes three days ago, and I already want canes. <laughs> I already want it so bad. Brian has no focus and can't plan where it's shit. <laughs> it's a legit strategy to name anxiety so you can tell him to fuck off. It really is, which is why now I think we should all call our brains Brian from now on. Hey, that one is fair. <laughs> that one is fair. <laughs> Brian is a whore and he confiscated my serotonin. Ah, oh, damn it, Brian! <laughs> Listen, sometimes you've gotta have the same fast food like three times a week for two weeks until you finally satisfied your craving and want anything else. I've, I've definitely f had those, had those days where I'm like, man, I know I had such and such the other day, but I want it again so bad. I want all five of my meals, I want all of my meals to be, I want all of my meals to be canes from now on, and my, my body's like, why? And I said, because, and it said, fine, I guess. And then that's how, that's how me and my body deal with each other.
a lot of food all weekend. I started- Hey! Oh my gosh! Story Girl, it's so good to see you! Welcome on in! How is your Tuesday going? And how have you been? I know it, it probably not amazing, but like, it's so good to see you! I hope everything is going well, considering the circumstances. Thank you! <laughs> I cut my hair. It is now in a bob. Well, technically my mom cut it for me. But it's so good to see you, Story Girl. Long time no see. Welcome on in. I thank you. I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying having this hair. <laughs> Sometimes you eat grilled cheese and pho for a week and that's just how it be. That's honestly my diet. Is grilled cheese, pho, alfredo, ramen, canes, and that's pretty much me. That's, that's my body. That is my body. <laughs> that is what I use for nutrients. Yeah, canes is literally a block from the hospital. Canes is truly, truly comfort food. <laughs> Chester's chicken. I've never had Chester's chicken. I don't know if they, I don't, and they might have it here in the Twin Cities. I don't know. I've never seen it. Or I've never noticed it. Sometimes you eat a different type of taco or quesadilla for every meal, and that's okay. Of course it's okay. I mean, that honestly seems like it has much more of a balanced uh, meal than just eating canes five times a week. But, <laughs> you know, why, you know, I don't know. Some, sometimes you just need a McDonald's double bees, ch bees jerker for a week straight, and that's valid. It is valid. I just say sometimes it be like that, and all my problems just melt away into inconveniences. Good, good. Sorry about that, it's been a whole thing with time zones, etc., and also not really being in a stable place. I now have housing with my own uh, uh, fiber-based broadband connection, so you might see more of me. Sparkle, you do not have to worry about it. You should take care of yourself first and foremost and and not and don't worry about being in chat very often. Whenever you're able, I love having you here, a hundred percent. And it brings me absolutely so 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 much joy that you are in a stable place now. That is lovely and I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Oh, my mom saw a clip and was like, oh, wow, she cut her hair. It looks good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Matt's mom. Of course, no matter what your, and this goes for everybody too, no matter what your life situations are and uh, what's been going on in your lives, if you have to take a break from coming to stream, if you have to, you know, miss streams that you were able to go to before or whatever, you're always going to be a part of the brigade no matter what. And whenever you're able to pop in, I'll be just ecstatic to see you. Thank you so much for always being here and for making the time for me, but also make sure don't ever feel guilty that you can't make the time for me because you're making time for yourself is the most important thing. And I'm always so happy when you all do that for yourselves. It is, I mean, yeah. Excellent post has come for food. Just really get get full on some canes. <laughs> pentacles, not tentacles, then. No, 
No tentacles, unless you count the vines as leafy tentacles. But yes, we're uh, we're working on the Nine of Pentacles. We've been working on this for quite a while. <laughs> By my estimation, eight streams, but I have lost track. Food, the food groups according to Bree. <laughs> Me who shaves my own head. Haha, <laughs> nice haircut, loser. Did your mom do it for you? <laughs> my mom did do it for me, and she did a good job. And then I cut my brother's hair, so there we go. <laughs> I want canes, but I don't want to drive two hours. Valid. I usually eat pasta and parmesan for every meal. However, I have been deprived of parmesan for months, and I'm very sad about it. Do you mean, like, butter noodles and parmesan, koala? Because if so, I fully feel you. <laughs> that is also peak comfort food for me. I now, I don't, I don't get that anymore at, uh, Noodles and Company, but that is generally what I always got whenever I went to Noodles and Company, was just, for a while, too, when I was younger, I would just get butter noodles and parmesan, no seasoning. Now, as I am an adult, I do add the seasoning and some pepper and stuff to it, because, you know, I have adult taste buds now, but for quite a while, that is all I got at Noodles and Company. Now I get other things. There's other very good things at Noodles and Company. I thought that I go to Noodles and Company very often. But anyways. I just, as a child, as, you know, as a child up until probably I was in college, um, I, uh, just wanted some bland noodles, please. Bland buttered noodles, please. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. That sounds fucking so good. <laughs> oh, thank you, story girl. I don't know if you're saying that about my hair or this piece. Either way, I am very flattered. Bruh. <laughs> Am I missing anything? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we... I feel like we've been... We did this... We did these... This... This... This layer of shadows. Good job. Good job, me. Both. <laughs> Thank you. Fried chicken and waffles with coffee is so fucking good. I... It sounds good. I've never had chicken and waffles before, but it sounds delectable. Here, it, it sits here and still eating butter noodles with cheese all the time. I mean, I do that too. Like, I, I've, I've gotten to adding a lot more stuff to it, but sometimes when I just need something, I do that. But my point was basically I don't do that as my only thing anymore. <laughs> I do do other things. It's just not my only thing. <laughs> it was my only thing for a long time. <laughs> I'm so hungry now. Well, good. We're close to the end of this stream in like 20-ish minutes, and then we can all go get dinner. <laughs> Why would you say these things? <laughs> my mommy did my hair, so shut up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? I. Man, I love this community except Koala. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. I'll just go and walk off a cliff. <laughs> oh, man, I love your guys' beautiful rivalry. <laughs> Greek steak. What is Greek steak? I've never had that before. 
It smells like a direct attack. And they give you homemade bread with freshly whipped butter to soak in the juices. John, stop talking. Oh, God, I want that so bad now. I just want butter heaven. Give me the butter heaven. Have a good lurk putting the kettle on, story girl. <laughs> what is, wait. What is butter noodles? It's literally, okay. Butter noodles is literally you just make noodles. You put a whole shit ton of butter in it. Maybe you put Parmesan in it. Maybe you put some spices on it. Usually Italian spices like oregano or Italian seasoning. Just, you know, that's not an Italian spice, but you know what I mean. The seasoning, Italian seasoning, um, spice blend, and some pepper. And that's, that's about it. And it's great. You just have, you've just got warm noodles, melted butter, and some cheese. And some spices. Mwah. <laughs> it is an extremely white thing to do, I will say. It's very, very white. <laughs> you know, when everyone jokes about, uh, you know, bland cooking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the epitome of bland cooking and it's so good. It's just butter heaven. It's the lowest effort, yeah. My brother got- Hey, clock face! Welcome on in! Hello, hello, my friend! How's your Tuesday going? It's the lowest effort shit. A hundred percent. At one point when my brother, my brother, my bother, you know, a little bit, my brother, um, <laughs> was learning how to cook. He, uh, got really into figuring out how to make the best butter noodles as possible. And he would... Like, he was like, all right, you gotta put it in the thing, you gotta salt the water a whole bunch, you gotta put in the noodles, and then you gotta take it out, and then, um, you gotta put in the pot, you gotta put in the cheese, you gotta put in the spices, you gotta put in the parmesan, you gotta mix it all up. Oh, he's not here. <laughs> and then, um, and that's honestly what he cooked for himself most times. Until he's gotten better at cooking over time. But yeah, you know. That's when he learned how to cook. To like, a tea. <laughs> John versus Koala, the ultimate deathmatch, truly. Oh, really? Is that actually a real thing? I did not know that, like, butter- like, fancy butter noodles was a, a real Italian dish. Though I guess that probably makes sense. I mean, who doesn't just want some grain? I, I mean, it's like breading butter, but for all of dinner. <laughs> just buttered bread, but noodles, and for all of dinner. What's not to love? It's rare that I'm up this early had an NBN tech come and fix the broadband. I think I need coffee and a bowl of cereal. Yes. Get coffee and bowl of cereal, story girl. Take care of yourself this morning. It sounds like a really good steakhouse. I would love to go there. That sounds delicious.
I'm just catching up on chat. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure what the herb blend they use, uh, but it's a lot of butter and olive oil, oregano, and a few other savory spices. Mwah. Yum. <laughs> no, bland cooking is just the pasta. I guess that's very true. Roasting Phil when he's not even here. Look, 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 look. I can. I'm his sister, and it's totally fine, and I can do it. He's probably still at work, so... You know what? I know that he's defenseless right now, but ha! <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good, Clock. It's really, really good to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out. That's true. You do it in a good butter noodles. You do have more than three ingredients. Mostly, it's spices. <laughs> Why are you making clips of this, John? What the heck? I mean, if Mexicans can put butter on and lime on tortillas, this doesn't sound that different. I mean, true. Very, very true. Though you do get a citrus rather than, like, a savory, but it's not that different. Sometimes it bland food is good. You know? Sometimes bland food is good. And it hits the spot. Man, now I really want butter noodles, but I really probably shouldn't because I have so many brats to eat. <laughs> well, Australian News just played a piece discussing the 100th year anniversary of the Tulsa Massacre. Wild. All right, Australian news. Sure. a motorcycle if ever I've heard one. <laughs> oh, story girl. Oh, yes. Truly. I truly understand that mood. Makes my leftover KFC food touch on my plate. Wow, fancy adult! <laughs> food touching. What an adult move. This is streamer on mod violence. I have to give Finn a chance to defend himself. <laughs> he's not here. He's at work. Actually, I'm just gonna make sure that he's not lurking. No, it's just you two. It's just my two beautiful mods. It's just my two beautiful mods. He's not here. Imagine working. What a loser, am I right? <laughs> I know, right? What a loser. It's not like I'm currently working right now. <laughs> if, you, if I ever roast Colin on Starbucks, we can out. You and Colin don't really have a roasting relationship. Whereas me and Finn certainly do. <laughs> I'm...
Ooh, that sounds really good. That sounds like a very good cereal choice story, girl. Good job. <laughs> Your motorcycle summoned a motorcycle in my neighborhood. If that that's how motorcycles that's how motorcycles work, right? That if you mention a motorcycle in one town, motorcycles just pop up somewhere else. I feel like I feel like that's how motorcycles work. I just realized I didn't fix up her hair. Okay, you know what? Gooey. Gooey. Gooey shadows. Gooey. There we go. Okay, much better. Much better. He is a beautiful mod. He's just not a beautiful mod right now because he's not here. <laughs> he's not here. I'm only with the beautiful mods that are here right now. <laughs> this was me caressing your cheek. <laughs> that was totally an accident. Not a call out! Look, y'all might be having fun, but this is my job. <laughs> I take this very seriously. I take this accusation very seriously, Koala. I 100% know how that works. <laughs> you are very right about that. We are alternate aren't alternately very nice to each other, duetting with each other, and being absolute shits to each other. I feel like me and Finn's relationship really is 50% sibling solidarity and then 50% just teasing each other. I just did, I just did do, wait, is everyone hearing motorcycles now? Are we teleporting a motorcycle around the country? Around the world? All motorcyclists are connected to the great Eldritch Overcyclist who pulls them through the darkened fabric between reality and dream to irritate you at just precisely the correct moment before flinging them back through the realms of madness to their previous locale. Oh boy. <laughs> ah, funny joke about motorcycle summoning call and I hear motorcycle. What the fuck? <laughs> We're really doing it, guys. No, the hair tie isn't colored. I should probably color it. Yes, I can tell I can take Todd from Mario and Goose Center seriously. Yes, I take I take uh Goose Centaur and Todd from Mario extremely seriously. It is my job and I will uh treat it as such. <laughs> How's life treating you US folks these days? Vaccination rollout seems to be going well. Are you all happy and well and able to get out and about more more at the moment? Um, pretty much I mean it's definitely in terms of vaccinations on 
at least where I am, definitely on an upswing. There's definitely people that are uh, probably not vaccinated and probably shouldn't be going around and doing things, but are. But a lot of my friends are vaccinated, so we've been getting together and being able to go outside and do things, and it's really nice. I went to a movie theater. Uh, granted, it was just me and my friends who were vaccinated in there, but it was awesome. Um, and then I went to a cafe and had lunch with someone for the first time in a long time, and it was awesome. We ate outside, but still. And yeah, it's been great. I've had a very good time. Definitely people could be more cautious. A hundred percent. Bree is a serious artist who does very serious things. I do. I don't do any, I don't do any qu silly doodles and I don't break, bust out laughing on camera for a very long time and I always start stream on time. And I, uh, I'm very serious. I'm a very serious artist. I do very serious things here. <laughs> There's a solid minute or two laughing fit with several drawings. But the stream top for Mario is but the stream top for Mario is from was supposed to be a serious stream and was titled Professional Artist Draw Your Suggestions Very Serious and then they draw draw to they drew Todd. Wait, really? Is that true? That uh that is the stream that Todd was born on from Drawfee is professional artist draw your suggestions very serious and then they drew Todd. <laughs> That's very good. There we go. There is our beautiful, uh, sunny highlights. And I think, uh, I, I see, I uh, speaking of starting an stream on time, very true. I've got until, we've got about five minutes until three hours. So I think we're going to do a little bit of a, some playing with some gradient and then we're going to save this. And then we're gonna finish this on the we're gonna finish the Nine of Pen Pen Pentacles on the ninth stream we're drawing this, which will be two weeks from now, in mid June, and we will finally finish the Nine of Pentacles, and I will unleash it to the world. <laughs> it is also it is looking rather wonderful, if I do say so myself. We're get we're getting there. Look at that. What a card. What a card. Yes, gradient time, gradient time. Doot, 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 gradient time. Gradient time, gradient time. Doot, 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 gradient time. <laughs> Listen, like I said. <laughs> Do you think I lie about Drawfee when it's always funnier to tell the truth? <laughs> I don't think you lie. I don't think you lie. I'm just flabbergasted. Oh. oh, yeah, look at that beautiful warmth. <laughs> There's a motorcycle here. It's really teleporting. It really is. This is a conspiracy.
<laughs> the gradient toy. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. The curse. Resident song clipper. Very true. This is looking good. We will get to we will get to this lighting and more vine coloring next stream, everyone. <laughs> Redeem the colorless bust of the overcyclist. This is what you've saved up for. <laughs> Serious stream, no meme drawings whatsoever. Oh god. Oh boy. Ten out of ten good content. <laughs> Control I. I looked at what my points could buy and I clicked it. We don't make jokes in the brigade. Oh fuck. <laughs> I I really want to watch Drawfy. I just haven't had the time to go back in the backlog. I don't know also if they are uh, currently still streaming or not. I'm sure they are. I'll I'll subscribe to them wherever they are. I really should. It's too good. <laughs> what are these jokes you speak of? <laughs> We've been blocked from a queen just to save our dust, and now we can meme bust! <laughs> I can't believe there's a meme bust! What is this stream coming to? <laughs> oh fuck, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and with that, we have hit three hours. And have gotten pretty far in our lovely, lovely, uh, drawing. All of the shadows are looking great. Next stream, all we gotta do is just, uh, shade the, he shade the hedge. And, uh, fi finish up the lighting. And then this will be beautiful and done. This will be beautiful and done. And it'll be good and we'll finally be done with it after nine streams. <laughs> of drawing this card. We've spent nine street. We haven't spent th we've spent more time on this one minor tarot card than we have on on any of the major tarot cards we've drawn. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, eventually, I would inundate the world with the clowniest games and most wild silver dungeon breed bre TM <laughs> illustrations. Thank you. <laughs> Every time someone makes one of my memes into something real, I gain more power. <laughs> so what you're saying is you're act you're also an eldritch entity. Are we just are we just becoming a community where every person in it becomes some type of powerful fae or eldritch being? Cause you know I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Prefer a meme bus to a meme bus, but that's just me disappointing. <laughs> Second puberty in that area. Oh my god. <laughs> But um, you can't spill my secrets like this. Nine times nine equals eighty-one. Their YouTube videos are usually like thirty minutes and self-contained, so they're way more easy to get into. I will definitely be looking them up. You've talked too much about it. I'm gonna have to look them up. We will get you. I will get you to draw our Eldritch sodas. I know you will. I know you will. I know you freaking well. No Eldritch in me. No way. I'm only a clock. <laughs> All right, everybody. 
Well, I have a lot of lovely things to say to you all at the end of the stream, but before then, who who are we feeling like rating today? There, we have a lot of lovely friends that are still live uh, on stream. All, if but if you guys have any uh, suggestions, please let me know. Um, Margot Simon Art is live. Margot Simon Art is live. Oh man, a lot of people switched places just then. A blue skittle is still live, doing some digital environment painting. Arthur Rigus is live, doing some Tuesday doodles and sketches. Uh, Ike is currently live. Ike was here earlier. Uh, he's definitely on my list. Um, who else is live? Who else is live right now? Resonim is currently live, uh, go, uh is doing, uh, a speed date. Uh, going on a date with Gary and other ghosts, I guess. I do not know what that is, but it sounds fun. Thank you for the stream. Ike Raid? I mean, I'd be down for Ike Raid. Ike was in- Alright, I agree. Raid Ike. Alright. Ike is a lovely person. Who to raid? Pull. <laughs> oh, is the Overcyclist a humanoid goose in a motorcycle helmet in a big 1950s Mad Max goggles? I mean, he is now. He is now. Paying no attention to the poll. <gasps> what was the poll? <laughs> you made an actual poll and then we all decided already <laughs> and then you said pay no attention. <laughs> We are a mess at the end of this stream. We are a mess. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's looking like we're gonna raid Ike anyways. Thank you all. <laughs> Elder Goddess, perhaps. Ooh, I'm not Elderton anyway. I'm just ancient compared to the rest of you. Elder Goddess. I like it. Elder- I mean, goddesses, eldritch beings, archfey. I think- I think that is a good mix. I think that's a very good mix. We all leveled to 20 after having wings for a while. Truly. Truly. Also, we should raid Ike. Shake's fist deck. <laughs> hey, John made a whoops. Everyone paying attention to it. <laughs> all right. Um, thank you all so much for coming to the stream, everybody. I had an absolute blast. This was the... B I had such fun drawing with you all. And so... It's been so lovely to have you all with me. Um, I had a blast kicking off the beginning of Pride Month with you all and working on this, uh, color- on- on this coloring page. No, that is- I read the word coloring page down on my screen. And this tarot card. Uh, we will finish it next- uh, the next time we draw this, uh, two Tuesdays from now. We're gonna be finishing the Lover's card next week. I'm holding myself to this. We are going to be finishing the Lover's card next week. And then the week after that, we're going to be finishing this card. And then the week after that, we're starting a new Major Tarot. And then the week after that, we're starting a new Minor Tarot. And we're kicking off the end of June, beginning of July with some new Tarot cards. And I'm so hyped for it. Um, and also, just once again, happy Pride to everybody. Um, I, hope, I hope this has been a very good start of Pride for you all. And, um, if it hasn't been, I hope it continues to get better, and I just want everyone to know that I see you, I love you, you're doing amazing, no matter if you are, uh, out of the closet, or still figuring yourself out, or questioning, or whatever. Y'all are lovely, and I love you all very, very much. Thank you so much for being lovely people in this community. Um, also, just a lot, the last few things at the end of the stream, um, uh, definitely go and check out my Twitter for, uh, a poll for a Draw This In Your Style challenge that uh, I'm going to be doing since I hit 700 followers on Twitter, and I also hit 200 followers on Instagram. Um, so definitely go and check uh, out the poll to see what I will uh, be drawing for the Draw This In Your Style Challenge. And also, just as a fun little hype at the end of the stream since I mentioned it, uh, we are st we are uh, doing a new uh, sub-goal this month. We're doing a coloring page. Uh, if we get 275 subscribers by uh, June uh, 22nd, we will be drawing a coloring page on the last Saturday of the month. And it'll be really fun. And I do not know what we're going to be drawing. Um, we're just going to, uh, we're going to see what you guys want me to draw. And it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to go raid some Ike. Uh, Ike is a lovely person. A lovely per uh, part of this community. And we should totally uh, go raid him. Oh, oh, also. Who would I be if I didn't shout out Tabletop Horde for the raid earlier today? Tabletop Horde, Virginia, thank you so much for the raid. I know you're no longer here. But if you check out this VOD, thank you so much for the raid. Everyone definitely go and follow her channel. She's absolutely lovely. Has been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, if you're interested in that. Um, and is just a very fun person all around. Definitely go and follow them. Um, what's the next mind draw gonna be? Do we know? Uh, we do not know. I, uh, usually I will sort of, like, go through the list and sort of roll on the list and then choose those and then we'll do a poll in the stream for what the next new cards are going to be. So I will let you know on the day of. 
<laughs> I mean, cough, not funny. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for the stream. I hope you have a great time. Everyone, please uh, go through and raid Ike with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody.